Toilets in the 1800s, a journey back in plumbing time. The 1800s were a riotous time for the standard of living, not least of all for the advancements, or lack thereof, in the world of personal waste management. Now, if you had the good or bad fortune to live during the 1800s, the nature of your toilet experience would actually hinge quite significantly on where you were living and what your social status was at the time. For the upper crust of society, the early 1800s might have seen you using an early version of the flush toilet, heralded in by the likes of the water closet, as invented by the godfather of modern flush toilets, Mr. Thomas Crapper himself. Yes, that's his real name, and no, it's not the origin of the word crap, although the irony is delicious. This involved a tank that released water to wash the waste into an underground sewage system, if you were lucky enough to live in a city that had those. But let's not glamorize it. Like an early prototype car, these toilets were to contemporary crappers what the Model T Ford is to a Tesla. They leaked, they overflowed, and they certainly didn't come with a dual flush option. If you weren't rubbing shoulders with high society, it's likely you'd be making the acquaintance of the chamber pot, a glorified bucket that collected your deposits until someone, often a servant or the lady of the house herself, courageously transported it outside to be thrown onto the street or emptied in a nearby gutter or cesspit. Not exactly a walk in Portland's fragrant rose test garden. In rural areas, the 1800s toilet might be a simple outhouse. These ranged from barely standing shacks with a hole in a plank to slightly more sophisticated setups with a bench and a hole that led to a deep pit. Luxurious, right? Shared outhouses were common in urban tenements, where they could be more accurately described as communal germ festivals. Privacy, hygiene, pish posh, we're in the age of industrial revolution. So there you go. Whether you were flushing, tossing, or squatting, toilets in the 1800s were a far cry from our modern-day thrones. It was a century marked by evolution in toilet technology that laid the groundwork for the creature comforts we rather take for granted today. Sometimes, when I'm back in Portland, I think about how far we've come since those days, especially since the city is known for its progressive mindset and green initiatives, all the more to appreciate our current sanitary conveniences. It's truly a wonder, and perhaps a relief, how the most everyday aspects of our lives have been transformed by the passage of time.